Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amir. This question is sent by Mr. Rahul Rawat. A must question for CAT, JAT, SSC. And this question ko we have discussed at a great extent in the cheating ka cheat code. Uh, I think this year or the last year on the Independence Day or the Republic Day. Anyway, question is in front of you. I would say please read the question and try to solve this question. Okay, I think you read. I think you read, paused, and solved the question, or at least try the question. Okay, so this one is nothing but the cheating ka cheat code. We'll discuss the concept first, then try to apply the concept in this question. So, we know profit is something which is extra on the cost price. So we say selling price is always more than the cost price. So we have a profit, but we forget one thing that is the quantity. So quantity remains the same. So the first concept is profit is something extra over the cost price if quantity remains the same. Second concept is if we say that our price is inversely proportioned to quantity, if other things remains the same, if we increase the price, we are going to decrease the quantity in the market that is the economics so we can say by this virtue selling price is inversely proportional to the cost quantity how comes because we know price into quantity is the revenue if we want price increase and want the revenue constant we have to decrease the quantity so that ye constant ho jai. So this one is quite easy concept price into quantity is the revenue budget or the you can say earnings anything so if our revenue and other things remains the constant to our price this one is the price not the profit price increases quantity decreases or if we decrease the price we need to increase the quantity to get the common or the same revenue so we can say selling price is inversely proportional to the selling quantity and cost price is inversely proportional to the cost quantity if we merge these two things we can say selling price upon cost price is nothing but in proportion to cost quantity upon selling quantity so this one is our third learning okay now generally i use a word profit effect generally i use most of the mentors do not use the effect word they use or the even maths use the word is the multiplying factor so multiplying factor and the effect both are the same things but multiplying factor is a bigger word so generally i prefer the word is the effect if i say our profit is nothing but 10 percent so its effect is nothing but 110 upon 100 this one is nothing but selling price upon cost price if we say cost price is 100 at 10 percent profit our selling price is nothing but 110 so the profit effect is nothing but selling price upon cost price ratio and with the third we can say this could be the cost quantity upon selling quantity ratio so this one is our fourth thing profit effect is nothing but selling price upon cost price ka ratio or ratio of cost quantity upon selling quantity now we know in the percentage the basic condition is nothing but if you have the 10 percent rise and 20 percent fall on the same quantity what would be the final change so we have a formula a plus b plus a b by 100 but instead of using the formula we can use the effect multiplier because this one is the multiplication 10 percent increase is nothing but 110 over 100 20 percent decrease is nothing but 80 over 100 so this one is cancel out cancel out 88 over 100 and this one is the effect not the final value so we can say we have 12 percent decrease over the 100 because base is the ultimate thing so the fifth one is the most important if you need to find the final effect just multiply the intermediate effects so we have nothing but the fifth now i am going to discuss the cheat code of profit with the help of these five concepts so as we know in the cheat code of profit are the profit effect has the two values that is the selling price upon cost price and the profit effect in the quantity is nothing but cost quantity upon selling quantity if we are getting two profit effects by the two different values that is the price as well as quantity 
so we need to merge these two things and the merging the effect could be nothing but the multiplication selling price upon cost price into cost quantity upon selling quantity so this would be the final effect of the profit how comes we just check the example with the 10% rise and 20% rise so if you have a two effects of the same value just multiply the effect i am not saying the multiply the percentage value change into the effect then multiply you will get the final effect now i am rearranging it and please check profit effect is nothing but the selling price and cost price selling price in numerator cost price in denominator and the cost quantity and the selling quantity so we can say this could be the value now i am using the word mark price mark price this could be cancel out isn't it both cancel out give the selling price upon cost price here i am giving nothing but the instead of instead of so this one is the cheat code of our profit if we have any type of cheating in the real world or even in the maths but except the adulteration for the adulteration part agar aap kuch mix karte ho to we have to add something extra so please remember this one is the cheat code or we can say profit effect selling price upon mark price is nothing but the discount effect mark price upon cost price is nothing but the markup effect cost price instead of is nothing but the cheating on quantity during the purchase purchase cheating this one is nothing but the sold cheating so this one is the cheat code this one is the cheat code you just need to understand and the learn this outcome okay this one is nothing but the intermediate stage of this formula or the concept i am going to again write the cheat ka cheating code our profit effect not the final value is the we have to write selling price and the cost price and the cost quantity and the selling quantity how comes because we learned a lot of things selling price upon cost price is one type of profit effect cost quantity and the selling quantity is other type of profit effect merge the profit effects and get the final effect and we just write here the mark price here the mark price here the instead of here the instead of to get all the cheating cheat codes so this one is the final value i would say please note it down in your mind you can solve 99.99% questions of the cheating except 0.01% question if you have the adulteration and agar kuch milawat hota hai to anyway so we have the cheating ka cheat code now solve our question this one is the question shopkeeper sets 10 18% markup what do you mean by the markup markup is nothing but mark price over the cost price 18% markup we can say 100 is the cost price and 118 is the mark price uh, offer 5% discount what do you mean by the discount discount comes selling price over the mark price which one is nothing but 100 over 95 so we have our mark price cost price our selling price mark price uh selling quantity that means we are using the selling quantity over and instead of selling quantity always comes down we are selling 880 grams over 1000 grams so this was the instead of first thing selling quantity down please remember selling price top selling quantity down because inversely proportion now in the time of buying that is the cost he uses so cost quantity should be above in a speed of should be down uses 1080 over 1000 gram so we have all the cheating ka cheat codes now we have to multiply the effect so our final profit effect is equal to selling price upon mark price that is nothing but 95 upon 100 and the mark price over the cost price 118 upon 100 into a uh, cost quantity in speed of value that is 1080 upon 1000 into 1000 upon selling quantity 880 now we need to cancel out these two values 0 0 cancel out so this one is a complete calculation you do approximation solve the value you will get nothing but 137.57 out of 100 is the profit effect so this one is our profit effect over 100 so what would be the percentage value so 137.57 over 100 more value is nothing but the profit if the numerator should be less we can say we have a loss so our profit percentage actual value is 37.57 and answer of this question is option number b so you have cheating ka cheat code which one is nothing but this so whenever you have any question on the cheating with multiple cheating use this value solve the question okay if you have any question you can solve with this value except the adulteration 
but this one is not the end now it's time for homework your homework is in front of you i would say must 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 solve this question and learn the concept and post answer in the comment box okay but if you have any doubt i would say please rewind watch the each and every step and learn the concept if you are not able to solve any question of the cheating apart from the adaptation by this code i would say either question is wrong or you're not able to use the cheating ka cheat code so if you feel any heat or the problem in any question i would say you can mail me you have my email id mail me i'll try to solve with the best possible way okay with all best wishes myself from here god bless you happy learning and happy chat and bye bye hi guys do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss out any update